New details after today's announcement. Some local businesses are already voicing concerns about the road shutdown. Way 31's Mary Lee Melendez is talking to uh, the manager of one of those businesses. She joins us live now with what he said. We may lose a lot of regulars from the other side of the mountain, Mary Lee. Yeah, Dan, I'm here at the end of Cecil Ashburn in Jones Valley, and a lot of businesses here are worried that shutting down this road will shut off access to a lot of their customers in Hampton Cove. Uh, we get quite a few regulars coming from Hampton Cove, the Owens Crossroad area. Um, a lot of our guests travel over the mountain, either on their way to work, stopping in, on their way home from work, stopping in. Ben Patterson is a manager at Mellow Mushroom off Cecil Ashburn Drive and told me just the talk of closing down the major roadway is causing concern for some customers. Now that it's a reality, he says the inconvenience could be a big blow. Yeah, we've had uh, several of our regulars voice opinions about them closing the mountain down, um, just saying that there's not going to be an easy way for them to get here. It's not going to be convenient anymore. Um, so I have a feeling it's going to hurt our business. Liam McCain is the owner of Valley Chic next door and could also see the effects. Well, we do have a lot of customers that come from that side of town. I do think that it could have an impact. But she thinks the end result will outweigh the 12 to 14 months that could hurt businesses as she herself has had frustrations when driving on the road. I do agree with what they're saying that it is needed. Um, when I've driven the road myself, I know that traffic backs up there. All these businesses can do is hope to make it through the year-long closure and that traffic picks up again once it reopens. I think the important thing right now is for everyone to try and remain positive about it because there's not a lot we can do about it. We just have to make the best of it. I think in the long run that it will pay off. For Patterson, he hopes families will use alternate routes to the Mellow Mushroom. We have birthday parties, it seems like, every single night, people coming in celebrating families coming from there, meeting family that lives on this side of the mountain. And while the businesses weren't surprised by the city's announcement today, they do hope that they stick to the 12 to 14 month timeline because they're looking forward to getting to serve both sides of the mountain soon. Live in Huntsville, Mary Lee Melendez, Way 31 News. Thanks, Mary Lee.